Hello everybody, today I'm going to test uh, these new tray blade propellers that I found online. Um, they are cheap, so I have bought them a long time ago, but I was not sure if it's safe to fly them. Um, but I wanted to see if that helps with the jello and the microchips problem on the image and see if it corrects or if it helps solving these issues. Uh, we know that we can now adjust the PID parameters of the gimbal that can also help in that way but I bought this a long time ago and I had them to test it. Um, so these have um, a quick release mechanism. Uh, they are all plastic except the screws so it's a bit uh, I was a bit worried to use them um, other than that I'm going to try to use also the electric scooter with the GPS in follow me mode let's see how it goes uh, I have also updated the firmware yesterday to the latest one three was released yesterday I think and um, the recalibrated the, the vision system for the obstacle avo avoidance uh, maybe I can try to test them over here too let's see how it goes uh, these propellers I don't know if they work I'm gonna test it but just wanted to show that I, I have also a hard box that I found from uh, a driller a tiny driller very old that um, I put some foam on the bottom stick holes there I've done some holes and the drone fits perfectly here but since these propellers are a bit higher than the other ones I cannot use this box to because it it uh, it doesn't fit inside on the height of the box but the original ones do and it's safer because it's protected by a hard case um, I prefer this method because it's still very manage manageable and uh, it's more protected from bumps and squeezes um, but um, can't use and, and I don't need to to fold the, the the arms of the of the drone every time I want to fly let's see the test okay I am recording I'm gonna open the app and I'm going to turn on the drone for the first time today after updating the firmware to 137 yesterday and remote also turning on remote um, I also cal calibrated the vision system. I thought there was a new software for the vision system, but the calibration software is the same. They just added the Macintosh uh, file, but I, I have used the, the Windows anyway. Um, everything went fine, and uh, let's see. FPV has been turned off. It will turn on automatically after the aircraft takes off. Uh, I'm also using a new propellers that I want to test with three blades. They are cheap ones, so I have those propellers a long time ago, but I was afraid to test them. Maybe I'm not going far away. And um, just to see if it helps with the jello and micro shakes on the image. The drone is not still not ready, but... We are in an open field, so it should be quick. Okay, it was quick. Let's see. Yeah. Mode obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly yeah. with caution. Here we are. So, this firmware supposedly 
corrects the problem with the zoom and um, the zoom was being viewed on the FPV screen but not being recorded on the drone itself so I'm going to try that during the flight uh, I prefer to take off a little bit of contrast sunny day so HDR can also test that it's on by default and let's see how this goes okay I'm recording Usually the problem with the microshakes is visible when the drone is going down. Let's see if it's viewable. What is this here? I'm coming down. to put it on sports mode there is a bird around here <laughs> that I'm interested in the drone he's interested in the drone coming down I don't know if it makes any difference I'm going to go a bit faster this way now going up Sideways, let's see how it goes. I'm still on sports mode. Going a bit up. Okay. Now I'm going sideways this way. Okay, this is in sport mode. Now let's switch it to film mode. The wind is very little wind. This is film mode. I think I'm seeing jello all over, even on the FPV screen. So these propellers must not be helping. 
usually I only see jet jello on the on the recording video. Now I'm gonna put it normal mode and coming back. Okay. So I'm going to try GPS follow me after this. Hmm. So maybe I don't want it like this. Stop. I like this. Okay. Follow me. Execute immediately. Okay. Like this. Am I on the image? Yeah. So let's go. Is it following? I don't know. Okay, let's go. This electric bike is not very fast. It's saying 15 kilometers per hour. Oh, fuck it.
30 kilometers per hour. that my phone is not fast enough to record the phone screen and at the same time use the low delay FPV video stream so I had to use the normal video stream uh, disable the low delay on the drone that is here uh, no that's if I touch here I have the FPV low latency mode I cannot use it while recording the screen on my phone pictures can take a picture to see how it goes. Normal picture. Oh, it doesn't allow me to use HDR with 48 megapixels. Okay, no problem. Taking a picture without HDR. Now, let's 48 megapixels and take the same picture okay done uh, let's see video again Hope this is the normal mode uh, video HDR. Okay, I have to turn off the 48 megapixel mode. Strange. Take it off. Come to video again. And HDR. Okay, so now recording video. This I think I'm seeing Jello. This is some video. And then video with without HDR. There we have it. This is without HDR. Let's see if there's any significant difference in the image quality. Now I'm going to try H log. This is supposed to be color graded, but uh, I didn't do it yet. Okay, 12 seconds. Now H log and HDR. H 
H log and HDR. A strange mix. Let's see how it goes. Uh, what else can I test? Not pictures, I want to test with the video mode. Video mode, I want to test changing this to natural. Take off the H log natural without HDR. No, with HDR, let's see. This is the natural with HDR. What else? More off. Usually this gives a bit of a blurred image. I don't know if it makes any difference. And uh, can also test it without HDR. More off without HDR. Natural without HDR. And sunny day without HDR. Oh. The colors are gone. Something strange happened. But I see lots of jello here, I think, on the FPV screen. Okay, I'm going to land this. this. The colors are a bit strange. I don't know why. Mm, let me try. Yeah. I changed the picture mode and changed back to video mode. And now they are normal. Something strange happened from the last configuration. Okay. This should be sunny day with HDR. Yes, sunny day. No, without HDR, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna land. Or I'm going to Lovely. in my hand. Yeah. Okay. FPV has been turned off. It will turn on automatically after the aircraft takes off. Nice. I think I'm going to replace the propellers with the original ones again and see. If there's a major difference, if I have time to do this now. Unfortunately, I didn't bring the um, screwdriver, so I'm not able to do the, tra the this test now. I'll do it later. Okay, the weather. It's not very windy. Let's see here. This is temperatures for today. It's a sunny day with a high temperatures for this season of the year. But it's not much windy. And um, 
Let's see the other one. This app should show. Oh, not good to fly. Hmm, strange. It's always saying the same. It's not that windy. Okay. Let's see. This was after the flight, so I think it's a bit more windy than uh, when I started. Okay, that's it. I'm back. Just replace the propellers and you can see this is the box I was talking about that I use. It was from a, a very old driller, tiny driller for electronics and circuit boards. Uh, but the driller, it's not it's not alive anymore, so I'm using the box for the drone. And as you can see, it fits here perfectly with these holes in the foam at the bottom. I have made some digging for the the camera gimbal and for the antennas and the, this stuck here and it doesn't go out. I just have to be careful when closing the box to put the propellers on the right direction and then it closes and it stays perfectly fit here. Yeah. This pushes a bit to the bottom. Okay, that's it. It can also work for landing pad, but mm. it might be good for taking off on this grass, not for landing. It's too small for landing. Okay, let's turn on remote and turn on the drone. <laughs> Should pop up the application, yeah. Okay. That's it. Let's see how it goes. USB cable not connected. Now it's anti mode. Uh, drone is showing self, uh, 10 satellites already. Maybe I need to turn off the ca and unplug and replug the cable. A bit strange. Or I need to kill the app and open it again. <sighs> Where is it? Here. Yeah. See if this works. Has yep. been turned off. It will turn yep, was on open automatically from last time. after the aircraft takes I flew off. it. So everything seems to be okay. I cannot use the low latency mode for the FPV while recording the phone screen. The phone has no performance. Not enough performance for doing that. And it delays the video a lot. Okay. Battery is fully charged, the new battery. And uh, drone is using latest version 137, remote also 115. I think I didn't test the zoom last time. So I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna turn the propellers, the motors on. No obstacle avoidance mode. There we are. Please fly with caution. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, turn. It rate to sixty. I don't want more than this. Contrast, let's put it a little bit lower. HDR is already on. Natural, sunny day. What do I want to test? The zoom and some of the HDR settings and the jello. See if it, it's better. It's not windy. There's almost no wind. So, I'm going to start recording.
and let's see what we can test here. I think that it should be a good image to test the HDRs and those kinds of things. change something here for instance the before okay. taking off HDR this is what we see without HDR and 10 seconds now I'm gonna change it, this to natural mode This is without HDR in natural mode. Now let's change it to Moire off, still no HDR. Okay, just slightly turning the drone. And mm, natural sunny day again. HDR. No, without HDR. I'm still going to try to reduce the contrast here. Like this. Okay, now I should be able to see a lot better the images that are in the shadows because the contrast is not darkening the shadows as much and let's stop it now I'm going to try to turn on HDR mode still using the contrast on the one, the minimum but with HDR to see if there's any difference spinning the drone a bit yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to try to change contrast to, well, let's say maximum. <laughs> contrast on 10 with HDR. This is what we can get. And not a good image at all. Too black. Now turning off HDR. Okay, contrast on the maximum on 10 without HDR, without HDR, yeah. Okay, let's put contrast back on like three. And HDR on. It's recording and I'm going to spin a bit here. So the sun is on the other direction. This is a big shadow of the building.
HDR. Okay. Recording with HDR. Let's see. What happens? What happened here? Still strange behavior. I don't know why. This firmware it doesn't allow me HDR with night mode. Let's try. Night mode, this is not supposed to be used with daylight, but night mode without HDR. I tap the screen. Can we test uh, other video modes? Natural? Still night mode? Natural? Night mode with natural. back to sunny day because today is sunny let's switch it to photo and just take a picture okay now I'm going to zoom in here take another picture uh, photo only supports shooting at zoom magnification 2.5 okay let's put it on 2.5 Can you take the picture? Hmm, <laughs> strange. 1.9? Okay. Uh, but I want to turn on the 48 megapixel. Where is it? Here. Okay. And with a bit of zoom, 2.5, it doesn't allow me. Oops, what is this? 2.1, 2.2, Let's take a picture. Hmm, strange. Okay, with 48 megapixels, it's always zooming out when taking a photo automatically, I think. Let me switch back to normal I think it's 12 megapixels and I put it on 2.4 yeah yeah it did shoot the picture if I tap here okay if I put it on 2.5 it still takes the picture no 2.4 2.6 it doesn't take the picture 2.5 it doesn't take the picture yeah it only allows 2.4 zooms to take pictures okay this 
this is a hard to do. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now I want to test more the video because video is what I'm interested in. So let's see how it is now. HDR off. Night. Oh, it's in night mode. I shouldn't be using the night mode. So maybe I should take a few more pictures without night mode. Yeah. I cannot use 48 megapixels in the HDR. I already know that. Yes, that's right. So let's take a picture here. Okay. 2.5 Yeah 48 megapixels take off the zoom And what can I test more? Uh, it's the option Edge log I don't know if this does anything to the pictures Temperature? What, what is beeping? Okay, let's test the video. Uh, HDR. I have to turn off the uh, 48 mega. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Hmm. I don't want portrait mode. Let's put the contrast on 4 and uh, take off the 48 megapixels to, in order to be able to switch HDR on the video. Okay. There we are.
FPV. Oops. USB not connected. Okay.